So we have all heard the best way to look diced on show day is to limit or in some cases completely cut water out and that sodium should also be cut at certain points during peak week. Stories of competitors scooping pre-workout straight into their mouth 30 minutes before stage because they were so concerned with any water intake that might make them look soft. I get it. It's something that I, I also used to believe when I first got into competitive fitness coaching 12 years ago. However, after trialing it for a short period, I quickly found that something just wasn't working and that a lot of my clients were coming on stage fairly flat and not looking at their best, even though the week before they were looking more than stage ready. So let, let's make things absolutely clear to start off with. If you are not ready to step on stage, don't step on stage. Reassess and choose a different show. Certain peak week protocols can make a slight difference to how you will look on stage, but if you are not ready in terms of conditioning a week out from your show, those peak week protocols might cause you to drop a few kilograms, yes, for a show, for show day, but you will massively sacrifice fullness and muscularity. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. So what are the three main components that are necessary to make your harder, hard earned muscle mass look at its best? I'll tell you, they are water, sodium, and carbohydrates. Each of these, if dosed correctly, will flood your intramuscular chambers to give you that full vascular shrink wrap look, what we are all after. So why would you cut them out at the very time you need them the most? Most people's arguments is that they want to lose their extracellular water retention, so cutting water will help them dry out. What they don't understand is that your body is way smarter than you, and if you restrict or remove a vital component to its health and homeostasis, it will fight back. So your body maintains a steady 70 to 30% ratio of intracellular to extracellular water, and this is tightly controlled by your body's internal mechanisms. So if you cut water in the lead up to your show, you may lose some extracellular water, water, but you will also lose a lot of intracellular water, which is going to massively compromise your muscular fullness. Another common error is to lower or even cut out sodium, salt, leading into the show, again under the false pretense that sodium causes water retention, which is true in some instances, but not when you are dealing with fitness competitors. Sodium is another key mineral that is needed to give you that full, dry, crisp look on stage, and cutting sodium will actually have the complete opposite effect of what you are trying to achieve. As when sodium levels are low in your body, your body will release a hormone called aldosterone. And aldosterone's main purpose is to actually increase water and sodium retention. Um, I'm sure you've probably wondered why you, in some cases, you looked at your best the day after the show. Most people will probably tell you it's because you didn't carb up enough, but in actuality, the often gargantuan refeed meal you had on the evening of your show contained a lot of the things your body needed to look at its best most notably water and sodium. I've literally seen male fitness models, bodybuilders consuming over 5,000 grams of carbohydrates in the lead up to a show and still come on looking flat as a pancake. Why? You forgot the salt shaker and water, my friend. Um, and let's not forget, every gram of carbohydrate needs three to four grams of water to process and store it. So if you're not consuming water, carbs alone will not cut it. So my recommendations, what would I recommend? If you are ready a week out, which you should be, don't change anything. Maintain your normal water and sodium intake throughout peak week. And on the day of the show, you can limit water to quench your thirst only, but this will also be dependent on when you are on stage. So don't restrict water if you are not on stage until the evening. Um, I would also advise having a carb and sodium heavy meal, either the night before the show, if you're on stage in the morning or mid morning, on your show day if you're on stage later in the day. So now please understand these are just recommendations and um, they will differ and they will often change a little depending on the person and the circumstances. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Give me a comment, give me a like and um, follow me on YouTube, Instagram, all the socials. And yeah, I'll speak to you next time.